Hey, and welcome to episode 53 of the Penguin Soup Podcast, where apparently weekly actually means monthly. And yes, it's another iPad production. Um, just gonna get to it. You'll see why it's been so long. So, whips! You remember this bag, Sis by Jessa Lou, in the awesome Batman bag? It is the Arnari tank, which, guess what? I haven't worked on it since I last recorded. And I don't think I worked on it then, so it's been over two months. It still has the front and the back, and I'm at the lace section, and I figured out how I messed up. But I put it in timeout because, yeah, didn't have time for that. But I've got some cool stuff coming up, and I want to have it done in the next three weeks. But I don't want to spill the beans yet. I'll save that to the end of the podcast. So, uh... Yeah. What have I been knitting? Swatches and nothing. But I'm going to save the swatches till the end of the podcast too. So we move on to cool stuff. What's cool? I work at EB Games in two locations now. One is in Wasega Beach, which is awesome. So I'm looking forward to that in the summer. I'll go to the beach after work. It's going to be awesome. Mail. Oh yeah. Can you tell I like Batman? Um... Mail, the only things I've gotten in the mail, because I'm broke, is two Ipsy bags. So I got this one for, what month is it? May, what comes before May? April. This one's April. And it's cool and kind of like canvassy stuff. Um, it came with some horrible pink nail polish. I'm not a pink person. Came with eyeshadow primer, which is awesome. Um, lipstick that is... Kind of my color, but I don't really wear lipstick. And what's this one again? An an eyeshadow with kind of a nude guy. You guys might like that. And this cool stuff, which is a tinted lip balm that's all natural. Oh, I keep forgetting the camera's over that way. And that one's really cool. And I haven't used any of it because I've been waiting to show you guys. So I haven't used it in like two months. Um, and then I got whatever this month is. May? May. I got this one. And I got. I forgot this was in here. It's massive. Ugh. Um, a lip gloss sample color thing. And I forgot what this thing is. I think it's a lip liner that's actually like a white see through thing. I don't know. I don't use lip liner. I don't really do lip stuffs. But I got it, so I'll try it. I was thinking of doing like blog posts and showing me using everything in the bag each month. I got another brush. I kind of hate the ending brushes because I have a bunch. I got. I got uh, sunscreen, which is always good. Natural one. So I like that. And I got a facial cleanser thing that I'll probably go to my friend. And an eyebrow pencil that's totally not my color. So that sucked. Um, also, the cool thing I got in the mail. My friend Corny from Manitoba's awesome. And he got me an avatar mug for hot leaf juice. And there's a big horrible glare. There we go. The best thing I got. Oh, we're only at three, four minutes. Guys, I'm sorry. Um, crap. So I was going to tell you guys what my next VKN is, but I forgot my planner in the other room, and I don't want to pause it, and I didn't really plan it yet, so look in the Ravelry group and I'll actually put one up. I'm hoping next week, but I might be busy. And I'm going to tell you why right now. So I've been talking with a yarn shop, uh, really local to me in Barrie. And they asked me if they wanted to, or if I wanted to have a booth in their shop for Worldwide Knit and Public Day, which is really awesome. And they're going to advertise, and I get to keep all the revenue, so everything I sell is all mine, which is freaking awesome. And they want to use it as a welcome penguin soup to the shop, because I'm in a shop, guys! I'm like a real young person now. It's so exciting! I had a meeting with the owner today. And I brought like 16 skeins of yarn just to kind of show what I got. She bought them all on the spot. So my shop's looking a little naked. I need to order some more and get it dyed up. 
I'm really gonna try and have an update on Friday like normal. So that means I gotta dye some, and I've got something to dye, thank goodness. But I got cool stuff coming up in that update that I'll show you soon too. So, other shop news. I bought myself a skein minder because you guys are fantastic. I hadn't had an update in a while, and I had my update on Friday with very little advertising. You guys bought so much stuff, I could actually afford to get myself a skein minder to hook up to my awesome skein winder, which is going to save me hours and hours of my life. Which means I can make more yarn. So it cost me a pretty penny, and I should get it in August, and I'm super pumped. So you guys are fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, okay, club news. I'm actually going to show you the colorways from each club every month, because why not? So the April color for the Firefly Club was Kaylee. I don't have a picture of the inspiration, which is really horrible. But, you guys being Firefly fans, you know she's trying to recruit people for the ship? She's got a book outside, she's got that umbrella. Well, she's wearing a green, like, overall with, like, a blue Chinese embroidered jacket thing. This is that. And the colors are horrible, I'm sorry. I had, like, lighting, my lighting is set up back there. But I'm really lazy, and I had nothing to show you. So I got this one. This is Kaylee. So it's, it's actually like super sparkly, like my sparkle is. You can kind of see it. There we go. Look at it. So I've got gray and then the blue and green for her jumper and her jacket. And the gray is like picking up the details in the jacket. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, anyone in the club is pretty happy with it so far. And I also dyed the umbrella, which is, oh, there goes my computer. Sorry, it's going to get noisy. This guy here, but I messed up a little bit. And you can see a red line in between where you're not supposed to. And I decided, uh, knitting the swatch, I don't like the yellow being thicker. So I'm actually going to make all three thicker with the thin white. But this is the swirl colors of the umbrella that she has. So this is in the shop now. I have one left and it's called Mine's the Nicest. And I think this is Oops because it's an Oops game. So, and it's on sale for like crazy off because of an Oops. So I got this guy. And then I did, um, what did I call it? Uh, Dance with Dragons. And I don't have the swatch anymore because I don't know why. I suck, apparently. But it's gray, and then it's got red and black, very good stripe, and gray. And then green and brown, very good stripe. And then gray, and then a red and yellow, very good stripe. And the very good stripes are one for each of her dragons. It's awesome. And then I got, oh no, I forgot something. Okay, I'll have to backtrack in a sec. So I've got Sakura. I'm still not super happy with it. I need to do less brown. This is my second version of Sakura. So this is self-striping. It's really pretty though. It doesn't look like Neapolitan like the other one, but I'm not sure I'm going to call it Sakura. I think I need to come up with another name. But there's that one. And I did another Experiment 32B. And I do the same striping pattern. I'm just mixing up the colors now. So this one's got more pink and blue than orange, but I love these colors together. And if you read the listing, I'm going to do the striping pattern the same, and I'm just going to randomly dye them every time. Same colors, just different order. So you always get different colors, which is awesome. I thought it was cool. I got Indigo Night is finally swatched up. So this is what I've been knitting, and I'm loving it. That's, I don't like, I don't love McDonald's though, guys. So I got, uh, it goes... Thin blue, medium black, thin blue, thick black, repeat. It's really cool. It kind of makes me think of like a hockey sock or something. But prettier. Um, and that's on my Emperor because it picks up the colors real nice. And the bestest one ever is the Harry Potter self-striping from the club is now available for you guys. And this one is called Harry Potter and the... So it's got red for the Philosopher's Stone. Green for the Basilisk for the Chamber of Secrets. I've got black for Sirius Black, blue for the Color of the Flames and the Goblet of Fire, pink for Horrible Evil Umbridge, yellow for Felix Felicis, and green because he has his mother's eyes. And they mentioned that a lot in the last book. So I got that one from that club, and I've got Forbidden Forest. I love this color. It really doesn't show up properly. It's really hard to photograph, too, but it's that maybe closer no it's it's darker than that it's really really nice and dark and kind of it really makes me think of the forest 
and I really want a uh, shawl out of it. Um, and I didn't dye Molly yet, but I'll try and get some Molly done up. So all the Harry Potter Club yarns will be available. And time check. Ten minutes. I can do this, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to backtrack now to cool stuff that I got. I found all the Firefly Pop characters. So we got, we got Zoe. She is so cute. I got, oh, she died. I got Kaylee. I love the back of Zoe's hair. Like, it's awesome. I got Kaylee and a little overalls. Not the same ones from the one I died. We got we got Wash with his dinosaur. And we got Mal with his gun. And and look, you can even see he's got a little itty bitty suspender. And we got Jane with Vera. Because it's it's Vera. And it's that. So we got self-striping Jane Yarn coming this month. It's taking a little while, but it will get done. And just for fun, Captain Picard. Because he's my hero. In all of his bald gloriousness. So that was going back. Um, Oh yeah. So the big news for the shop for the update coming up on Friday. Not this Friday, because that's today. But next Friday. Is soft ranks. I dyed some. So I've got, and this one I didn't do like a variegated colors, I kept the colors separate, but I got a rainbow sock blank, but it's pink instead of red because I like that better. And I was thinking while I was doing this, that was kind of like a scarf, totally gonna sock blank the fourth doctor scarf. How badass is that? I'm excited. Let's get that one. And then this one is like a graffiti one. I don't sure, I'm not sure what I'm going to call them. But I kind of did like a splotchiness, and then I did swirlies and flowers. And it won't look like this when you knit it up. The swirly flowers will actually just go in, and there'll be like a little black dot, like a whole row. So it'll be cool. So you won't have my horrible, horrible looking flowerly artwork in your socks. Don't worry. Or your shawl, or whatever you decide to do with it. But I thought it was a cool idea, and I was experimenting. Um, that's it. Because I've knit swatches and I've dyed yarn and I've been kind of trying to get this yarn company shop thing in the works with wholesale pricing and coming up with new color ideas and the club and a whole bunch of real life drama going on. So I've been busy. But I'm going to try and actually do a blog post. I'm not going to say I'm going to see you next week because chances are it's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to lie this time. So, happy crafting, and I'll see you eventually. Bye!